Viv, I'm sure I speak on behalf of everyone when I say just how excited we all are about this news. The contract is signed, you're staying at Arsenal. How does it feel to have it all sorted? Yeah, really good to be honest. It's obviously been a really big decision. Uh, it's took me a long time, but it feels right. I had to follow my heart and I'm happy to be part of the team next year. You've had so many things to consider when making this decision, such an important one in your career, but what were the main reasons that you wanted to stay here? I mean, I've always said it, like I think London felt like home, like I've obviously been here for five years now. I love being part of the club. Um, I think I am on that stage in my career that probably my top years are meant to come. But I'm still quite young and I just really hope that we can um, keep developing and make the next step next year. Do you feel like you've got some unfinished business here as well? No, I do. I've been here five years. We've not won that many trophies so I really feel like yeah. when I came here we started talking about getting back into Champions League becoming a top club in Europe again and I do feel like we are on the way but I don't feel like we're there yet um, I do feel like over the last couple seasons we have made the right steps and as I said like I think if we keep developing we can get there and I think that I should be one of the players that can help the club getting there Would it have felt quite strange to have left this summer with the way the season ended in the end and wanting to win trophies here? Yeah, I think so. I think obviously this season has been quite disappointing for us in coming out without anything. But um, with Jonas coming in, ch things have changed. I think we are going into the right direction. And as, you, as I said before, like I want to win titles and I would love to win them with Arsenal. Like I've always seen football as yeah, a beautiful bit of being part of a team that, that you love. And, and I do do that here. So um, yeah, I would love to, to help the club and, and win titles next year. Does it kind of feel like a second home for you here? Do you feel really at home? Yeah, no, I definitely do. I think in the UK, especially, I think living here is, is amazing. Um, I mean, being part of a club for so long, you kind of obviously get get that lovely like feeling towards the club as well. So um, yeah, I just want to, I want football to mean something to me. And that's definitely how it feels like right now at Arsenal. There's been so much speculation, so many people like myself asking you in interviews what's going on with your future. There's been some false reports out there as well. What have these last few months been like for you and does it feel nice to know that you're not going to be asked about it anymore? Yeah, it does. I mean, obviously, like, I can be really open about that. Like, I have obviously really considered moving on, um, potentially going to different leagues to see how I can develop myself. But as I said, like I think the, the most beautiful thing about the game is building something with a team and with people around you that you really want to be around. And I do feel like I have got that at Arsenal. I feel like uh, for me, winning titles with Arsenal will mean a lot more to me than winning it with, with another club at the moment. And that's obviously what I hope to, to achieve with Arsenal. How difficult has it been to keep quiet and to not say anything in interviews during this time? Because you've been asked it a fair few times, haven't you? I mean, it's not been that difficult. I actually really like keeping all of you on your toes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously for myself, I actually, I've only made the decision recently. So um, I tried to just focus on the season, end on a high, which I think we've obviously done and, and go from there. And um, yeah, as I said, like I, I know people will be speculating until it comes out, but yeah, it feels good that that is out in the open right now and I'm fully behind that. You said that you've only made the decision recently. What was the deciding factor? At what point did you think, yeah, I need to stay here? I think it was just like a gut feeling, really. Um, I think obviously, like, at this point, as I said, in my career, there's so many different paths I could could have gone into. But yeah, just putting on the Arsenal shirt every week and being out there with the girls and obviously, like, being part of, of something that I've been part of for the last five years, I think. It made me more upset thinking I would leave than, than stay in. It does look from the outside like it's a special group in this Arsenal change room. Who's going to be the happiest by this news, do you think? <laughs> don't know. I mean, I hope they're all happy. <laughs> but um, obviously, like, yeah, we do have a really nice, like, a really good uh, team. I think we have been together for a longer time. There's obviously girls that came in in summer, in winter. Um, and I think they're all, yeah, really happy with how they actually come in, like, what they come into. Um, I think the most important thing is for us to just switch on every single game now. And I think, obviously, we've, we've done it in most parts of the season. It's really frustrating that we haven't done it in, in the depending games. But yeah, I hope that we can change that around next year. And um, I hope that we can add a couple more players to it and, and go from there. How do you reflect on the season? You've had a little bit of time now. Um, I've only had two days. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought we were in full acting mode, you know? No, um, I think they're looking back at the season. Like, I think it's been different. It's been difficult as well. Us coming back from the Olympics, uh, I only had four or five days off after. So you kind of go into the season being tired. Mm -hmm. 
Jonas coming in, we didn't really have much time to actually kind of get used to the way he wanted to play. Throughout the season, we've had a lot of injuries. We've had players that struggle coming back from the Olympics. But I think after, after the winter break, you could really see that we kind of got in that flow and like we started winning our games. And I think especially towards the end of the season, you could see the work Jonas has done, but also the work we have done as a group. And as I said, like I would really like to see that developing into next year. Obviously, like the girls having a normal preseason again with him this time. Um, we obviously will be later because we are going to the Euros. But yeah, it's really exciting to, to see where it will go. Is it also important when we reflect on the season just gone to remember that you had a new manager coming in, that it has been a season of transition for you all as well? No, nah, absolutely. I think as Arsenal, you want to win trophies and if you look if you look back at the season like it's been a disappointment not winning anything but I also think as you say like where we came from last year we we hardly got Champions League like I think we secured Champions League the last game of the season where now we were all the way in it with Chelsea till the last game um, which I think has been a massive step I think as I said like the, the thing for us next year is just that we need to perform every single game all the big games as well and and go from there and we're going to be back in Champions League which is a massive thing um, and we just want to compete and, and we want to win titles. You've obviously seen enough here to know that the club is going in the right direction going forward. What direction do you feel that is? What have you seen at Arsenal that mirrors your expectations, that mirrors what you want to do in the game? I think obviously coming to England five years ago, like I think it's not just been the club, I think it's also been the league. I think the change in the league is amazing. I think it's really competitive. Like I think it's amazing this season that you have Chelsea and us competing till the last day. Everyone can beat each other. And I think that also copped on with Arsenal. Like I think they realised we need to invest more, we need to do things differently. And and we've started doing that and no, we're not there. And I think no one within the club thinks we are there, which is a good thing because we, we do still want to push forward and we do still want to develop things. And I think the next step basically means that we are going to win titles, that we are going to be able to compete in Europe till the quarters, till the semis, maybe even reach the final. And that's what we need to work to. Your manager, Jonas Eideberg, has also signed a new contract here at Arsenal recently. Was that part of your decision in wanting to stay to work with him more? No, to be honest, like I, I didn't know um, he was going to re-sign again. I've actually got a really good relationship with Jonas. We're both very open and honest. We can um, tell each other what we think, Com go home, be grumpy, come in the <laughs> next day and be like, oh yeah, you were right yesterday. So um, I think for him, like coming in the way he did, like right before the start of the season, I think he's done really well this season. Um, as I said, I think he needs a bit more time with the girls and with the team to really uh, put his way of playing into us, but it's going to be exciting and um, yeah, I do hope that he's obviously going to be able to take us to the next level. To have a manager that has that level of respect for you and to have that kind of relationship where you can be very honest, open, have maybe difficult conversations, that must be really good for you as a player, a really nice position to be in. No, absolutely. I think I've been quite lucky to be fair with the coaches I've had over the last couple of years. Like I kind of had the same uh, relationship with Joe, obviously here at Arsenal, with Serena at national team, even with Mark right now. I mean, I love football, they, they know I do. Uh, obviously, I've done my coaching batches myself as well, so it, it's just really nice to speak football. And I think um, you've always got leaders in the team when it comes to being on the pitch and seeing things on the pitch. And I think when things change on the pitch, I'm probably one of the, uh, the players that need to stand up and, and help the rest around me. And it's just good to have that relationship and be able to be open and honest about it. What's he brought to you specifically into your game? Um, I mean, he's obviously given me the freedom, really, to play as a 10, especially after the winter, uh, which I've really enjoyed. I think that's obviously played a big part in my decision as well. Um, I love being able to be more on the ball, to, to give the team a lot more uh, going forward than just basically waiting as a number nine. Um, I think looking not just at me but the whole team he's given a lot of girls like a lot of confidence you've seen that in Beth this season um, you've seen, seen that in Steph Catley coming back in like it's been really nice to see and I think he's really good in that sense. Is he as emotional and kind of exuberant as we see him on the touchline in the dressing room? Oh absolutely I mean he's the complete opposite from me so maybe that's why we Is do Is that work. why it works? Um, yeah. Nah, he's very emotional, like he's a really nice guy, he's actually quite quiet off the pitch, but um, yeah, it's really nice to obviously have someone that can bring that energy to training and I think that's what we needed. We, sometimes we need a, yeah, a kick up the bum to, to, to just get 
like everything together again and just uh, yeah prepare either for the next game or switch that moment in the game and yeah he can definitely give us that. Let's talk a little bit more about this slight positional change that you've had here at Arsenal. I've heard you say that you're not quite a nine, you're not a ten, you like being somewhere in between, is that right? No, I do. I think I've basically only been a nine because at our national team we didn't really have anyone else and they were like, well, you can score goals, so just go and play it. Yeah. And um, don't get me wrong, like I'm happy to play the nine, I'm happy to play the ten, but as I said, like I really love being able to pick the ball up in midfield to create things for others and just to be on the ball more like I just feel like I'm more involved and and I can help the team better and um, that also comes back to to defending I mean you've seen me make slight tackles which I don't think you've ever seen before so um, yeah I just love the freedom and I love that I have been playing as a 10 either with Caitlin or Stina yeah Stina in front of me let's talk a bit about the future then because we can now talk about the future because we know you're going to be here next season is the challenge to be competing on all fronts to finally get some silverware back here yeah, absolutely. I think, as I said, like we've been really close this season. Like we obviously got to the quarters in the Champions League, only one point off in the end in the in the league. Um, but yeah, we want to win titles. We need to win titles, and um, that's like one of the things I've said to the club. Like that's that's why I want to stay. That's why I want to be here because I do want to win things. And I think next year is the season that we need to show it and we need to do it. You mentioned there the one point. You've obviously been thinking about it. It obviously was really disappointing. Is it a case of using that frustration to kind of fuel you all next season? I think so. I think I'm always a bit like that. I think um, I, I don't. You do play for winning things, obviously, but like I wouldn't necessarily be my priority. As I said, like me winning titles with Arsenal will mean a lot more to me than um, just going somewhere random right now and, and win things. Um, I think England is the most competitive league. Um, and yeah, I, I do really hope that we are going to win things and um, that's what we need to push for. As for the fans as well, you could see them looking nervously in the stands on that final day, not knowing if it was going to be the last time they were going to see you. They are going to see you again in an Arsenal shirt. How pleased will you be to play for them again and how good have they been for you during your time at Arsenal? I think the fans have been amazing. I think I actually said that on Sunday before the game as well. Like I think this season has been a massive change. Um, playing at Bordenwood, we've got a lot of people coming in. You can feel the atmosphere. Um, that's why you want to play football. And I think obviously like us players, we really appreciate them being there for us. Um, you kind of thrive off it, like you want to go and play. And yeah, I just really hope that they are going to come back next season. Um, I think we kind of staged it really, really well on Sunday because obviously I got taken off five minutes before the end and I was basically giving everyone a big clap. But yeah, <laughs> I'm still going to be there. You knew what you were doing, didn't you? Yeah, yes I did. <laughs> they also call you the GOAT. That must be quite a nice nickname. You're rolling your eyes, but who wouldn't love that nickname? <laughs> I mean, nah, it's really cute, obviously, from the fans. I think... Um, Again, like I think that kind of played a big part in my decision as well. Obviously, like being being at the club for so long now already. I mean, uh, five years in football is a long time. I just think you build something up and you kind of want to continue on it. And I think that's one of the things, obviously, with the fans and um, yeah, with with setting records as a team, winning titles. That's what you want to be part of. You are here to stay. What would your message be to them ahead of next season? Because there will be so much excitement when they hear that you're staying. I want them to come back to the stadiums. Um, I, I want to win leagues, titles, cups, everything with them being there. And um, I really hope that we're going to enjoy yeah, a lot of moments together next season. And we've got things to celebrate about and do better than this season. I think one of your biggest fans, particularly on social media, is another Arsenal legend, Ian Wright. He's going to be quite happy with this news as well, I think. I hope so. I mean, he's actually really funny. I really like seeing him, uh, obviously speaking about football with him as well. So, yeah, um, yeah. I hope he's going to come to the games and support, support us again. OK, the deal's done. You're sitting here in the new kit. There's a few weeks, obviously, to go, or quite a while to go until the new season. What does the future look like for Arsenal with you here to stay? I think we, we need to just push ourselves forward. We really need to go out there and say we want to win things. Uh, obviously, focus will be on the league mm -hmm. because that's the main thing. That's how you qualify for Champions League the year after. Um, it's going to be really competitive, obviously, with the likes of Chelsea, Man City, Man U, who've done amazing this season. Um, and I'm really looking forward to, to see not just Arsenal, but also the league developing. I think the Euros is hopefully going to give that a massive boost. And, and we'll go from there. And um, yeah, as I said, like I want to play every single final possible next year. Well, the best of luck and we're very much looking forward to having some more Meet Magic. Thank you.